Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best, best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It is the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five. Four, three, two, one. You ready? Let's get the conversation started. I emphasize that if anyone is listening to this as a replay or listening to it live, connect with further and fathering. You will be encouraged. You will be edified. The 20, 30 minutes that we're on the radio chopping it up is nothing compared to the energy and the strength you will receive from men who love you just because you're a man. And then as they get to know you, they speak life to you, they challenge you, they affirm you, and they enable you to be powerful where you're needed, which is with your family. Brother Derek, you're saying hello. It's not only, a, it's not only a good for the child, but I think it's a mandate from God. Um, I think the heart of the Father belongs to men, and God has called us to be that for as many children as we can. So I don't echo everything you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. And I think um, the call is for more men to embrace that truth so that we can begin to rebuild our community, our nation, one family at a time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Further and Father and Radio Show. I am your host, Pastor Jeremy Maynard, and I am excited to be alive. Yes, today, October 5th, 2021, a gift is because we're blessed by the one, the only, the Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for today. Yeah, this October 5th, is, is the, we noticed the, the climate change. You know, there's a lot of talk about climate change, but a lot of it, it, it the, the talk is about physical stuff, but the climate change is really spiritual that affects the soul. Yes, 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 but we want to protect and prepare our progeny, our progeny are our children, our kids, you know, because uh, they didn't see what we saw when we were kids, what was normal to us, and a lot of nonsense has become normal to them. How do we raise them up? How do we how do we train them up? So you know how we do. We always got to go to the source, um, the ultimate source, our Heavenly Father. And today I'm reading from Deuteronomy 6, 5 to 9 real quick, and then a quick prayer, and then we'll get to those who are on the line. Deuteronomy 6, verses 5 to 9, and it reads, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might. And these words will I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them Diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine home, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou, when thou raisest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon posts of thy house and on thy gates. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the law, which is love, to love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. You've commanded that. It's not a, an option. It's something that you command, so it's something in our will. We've been talking about willpower, Lord, and we 
you know that this is a time when there's a lot of projected fear, intentionally projected fear, to corner and to stifle and to, and to cause one to give up things that you have given us to receive things, placebo things, and even dangerous and nasty things that are supposed to be a a protection for us, but are turning out to not be. Bless us, Lord, as we bind these things to our heart, as we teach our children diligently, whether they receive it initially or not. Help us to inculcate it, in other words, repeat it in different forms and fashions over and over again, till what is visibly the norm is foreign to them, but what is faithfully normal to them is their life. Bless us, Lord, as we say it, as we walk it, as we write it. In the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, amen and amen. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to open up the line real quick. 5574, how you doing, my brother? 5574. What's up, Can you brother? Hear me? Jesus, oh, God it's good to hear you. It's good to hear you. How are you doing? Good to be uh, heard, Mark. It's good. It's, it's, I'm, I'm happy to hear. You. I'm happy to hear you. Happy to hear you. Yeah. Um. This week we're talking about preparing and protecting our kids from foolishness, wickedness, harm, and danger. And you know sometimes. Things can be overwhelming <clears throat> And that's some of that's by design You know the overwhelming Is the way that The wicked Maintain control they, it, mm. it, it, The distraction Gets you to Bind yourself But oh, when you're overwhelmed You give up protection And those The combination of those two things um, cause issues. You know, there's a thing called the Hegelian dialectic. It's it's, it's a serpentine move. It's a it's a snakish boa constrictor move. Um, and what it is is a thesis is presented, and it's usually not accepted. You know, uh, the, the 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 actual meat, the actual thing is not accepted or acceptable. But what happens is a calamity is introduced. A calamity is introduced so that the solution is what was really wanted in the first place, for you to give up things, for for you to, 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 to give up freedoms um, so that uh, the powerful can, main, can, can, can maintain a greater level of control. You see, when a constrictor gets you, it waits for you to... To breathe, to squeeze, the, 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 the more, the, as you exhale uh, uh, um, and let out air, that's when it knows it can squeeze tighter. And now there's a less capacity for what is good for your health to come in. And, that, and, and that's a Hegelian dialectic. And, and that is how the enemy combats the good big picture, where God says all things work together for good for those who love God, for those who are called according to mm-hmm. his purpose. So, you know, that, 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 that happens with, uh, go ahead. Mm-hmm. I was going to say that happens with, uh, most of, um, uh, governments do that. And especially they do it with, uh, like outbreaks. They do it with yeah. outbreaks. They do it with out, outbreaks and, um, they've been doing it for a long time. And you usually don't know until later after everything calms down and people can, like, study and get the information and get the history. But, you know, they can – they can stuff that could be healed naturally, they have all these things, pharmaceutical and everything, like making it like an emergency, like you're saying. They still, even without that, they taking a lot of our money because a lot of the stuff you could heal naturally, we go to the – with this program to go to the pharmacy and get it. But really, God already made uh, the cure for everything that there is. Exactly. So that was exactly. 
that was just a little and example of what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's exactly uh, uh, what I'm saying. And, and it, you know, Christ talked about there will be wars and rumors of wars. You see, the wicked profit off of war, but they gain control over rumors of wars. You see, the the rumors of the fear. cause the cause us causes fear and irrational giving up of rights. And mm-hmm. guess what? When you give up the rights, guess what? They won't give back to you when 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 the quote unquote issue is over. Those same rights. <laughs> right. Because the law is based on pre- the the manly uh, law in the United States. The Earthly, uh, 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 I'll say, say demonic law based, is based on precedent. It means if it's happened once, it can happen again. So if there's precedent for 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 us giving up something, in, it could be used again in the future, only at a higher level. It'll, it'll squeeze a little more. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that's the high Hegelian uh, um, dialectic. That's that's for the big schemes, the big plots, the big plans. And what's wild is, very often, like like I always say, the, the super villain has to yeah, tell his plot be because the demons require our approval to gain access. Our sin creates portals, and our agreement gives them access to this dimension, this world, this time, this space, right? And because God has put eternity in our hearts and life and death in the power of our tongues, what we believe, what we believe and what we say, is so vital. It's important that we pass to our children what we believe, what we really believe. You know, uh, earlier we did the, the wills. Uh, uh, we're talking about wills, but wills always had a last will and a testament, and the testament testified of what uh, of what you actually believe. Your your your, your trust in God. Your trust in in their in the brightness or in the the, the warning of their future. Um, with that said, do uh, and let me see, see who else is on while while I'm while I'm looking around. Yeah. With that said, do you warn about the small schemes? Do you warn your ch- your child about the small schemes because? People will try to make them comfortable only to betray them. People will try to make them comfortable. You know the story. You know, they, uh, 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 there's, a, there's a, a, a snake and an otter, and the otter can swim across. And, 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 and you know, the, the, the snake is trying to convince the otter, to, if you give me a, a, a ride on your back, you know, uh, 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 I promise I won't bite you. And, and, hmm. and the and the otter is like, I know you. The second <laughs> we get out there, you're going to bite me. Lo and behold, he gives fun. in. He gives in. And then, the, and then they're out in the water. Then all of a sudden, the, 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 the snake... Rears back his head and bang, bang, bites into him. He said, hey, you told me you wouldn't do this. And and the snake said to the otter, you know who I am. <laughs> mm. You know what's interesting about that, you though? You always knew like, who I was. Like, that's, that's so real. The thing, like even, like even last week, I, didn't, I was listening to the show when you were talking about spiritual warfare and the most one of the most important things is having the correct mindset so you can know who's who. Yes. And so just like you said, because the stuff I've been going through, God has just been showing me who's who and yes. who I need to be around and who I don't need to be around because you can't win 
if you don't have the proper army, if your soldiers are yeah. not in the right places and you're not in the right place and, yeah. and so on and so forth. So that, 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 that story, that story is a good story. Yeah. You, That's you a good know, story. You, you know, the, there's always a battle between intelligence and wisdom. The enemy mm. use is subtle and uses intelligence. Ah, intelligence is how they gather right. information, right? Uh, uh, um, you know Elon Musk. You know who that is, right? Elon I'm Musk is the kind one of familiar, who, who, yeah. Um, oh, the 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 that car, the, the electric car. I, I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh, and he also did uh, a SpaceX. He sent up a, a rocket. Really, really bright man, but you would never call him a man of God. And he said he's really afraid of AI, artificial intelligence, because we're feeding it so much information that it knows more about us than we know about us. And that could be a, to a detriment. It's talk about feeding the beast. Right and um, yeah. very very often, you know, we we have to know when to when, when to when to to even talk to our children about the things that are going on, but even their own friends, right. because people will try to make them comfortable to betray them, and then in this time when. Foolishness like sowing oats when a lot of a lot of kids are dead on joy rides, sowing oats. A lot of kids end up with venereal disease. Sowing. A lot of kids end up uh, raped. Mm. Sowing oats, and, and and that's that exploration, right? You know that they want to go on dates and have exploration dates, but sometimes your exploration date can be your expiration date. So so mm-hmm. so it's it, it's it's better to train them to do what is wise and godly, so that they're trained up in the way they should go. So that at least that if because some don't have that information and they just go by how they feel and how you feel can lead you in, right into in, in, into the bear trap, right? How you feel can lead you right mm-hmm. into, into the snake pit. How you feel can lead you into the den of lions, right? How you feel can can can, can, can uh, lead you into uh, 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 um, narcotics and all sorts of things that that that, that, that are used by wizards and and, and, and witches <laughs> to, to 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 dull the senses, right? So that you even become more of a prey. Instead of praying, you become prey, right? And and so yeah. and some experiments blow up, right? Some experience uh, experiments blow up. You know, there has to be safety set in place so that your, your your child can explore. There has to be, but there has to be warning, you know, that there's a, especially as a, as a dad, as a leader, you have to be like that prophet. A prophet gives hope and a prophet gives warning. A prophet gi- uh, gives what the reward would be, but it will also give what the consequence would be, what the, what the curse would be. So uh, um, it's important that we not only that we not only uh, share it, but we get to share it too. You okay? You okay? Marcus. Okay. We go we're gonna go to a we go go to our we go to our next caller. Sixty one seventy five. Sixty one seventy five, are you there? I'm here. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Is is that Pastor How you Brown? Doing? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, voice. it is. Good, good to hear your voice. Good to hear, good to hear your voice. Too. Yeah, we we had an incredible what? show last week, and even when we were just talking about with Marcus, and he, uh, I heard the the screaming in the background. Which, you know, kids get 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 restless and tired. <laughs> so, uh, um, um, 
we, we're talking about protecting and preparing our kids to, uh, to keep them from the right. foolishness, wickedness, harm, and danger. Do you have anything that you would like to add to, to what has already been said? Definitely. You know, you, Definitely. You know, first yeah. of all, uh, you, uh, um, your kids got to respect you. They, they don't fear you. They fear, have a healthy fear of you. you and to respect you. And when you talk to them, they got to listen. Because if you yeah. uh, um, think you can gain kids to tell you what to do by um, beating on them and stuff like that, when they have a fear of you, eventually that fear is going to go away. Eventually, that, and yeah. they're not going to listen. And they don't want to hear nothing what you got to say. So by the, um, when your kids are, are, are young, you got to start molding them. You can't you yeah. can't bend the tree when it's old. You got to bend that tree when it's young. And Amen. when your kids go out, you got to you know you got to talk to your kids. It ain't like it used to be. You got to talk to your kids. You got to have a communication with them. You got to. Um, yeah. When when my my daughter just uh, um, left to go to work, Daddy, this is what I'm doing. Dad's when she because she got my car. Daddy, yeah. this is what I'm doing. So when your kids are going out. You gotta have a healthy respect. Well, they gotta have a healthy respect. Well, I'm not gonna do this because dad don't say that, and, and dad said don't do that. And they gotta have that. And you're right, as a leader of the house, as a man of the house, the Bible says he's responsible for everything that goes on in that house. So even that, even the wife. So when my my kids, you can always do is tell them what is right, but there's always that influence out there try to get them to go the other way. It's yes. always that peer pressure is always there. I, I, you, you I think the, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, dear Pastor, I think there's even more than peer pressure. I think there's systemic pressure, the societal pressure. Um the school That's will right. teach opposite the school will teach opposite. The entertainment will teach opposite. Uh, uh the friends will teach yep. opposite. Uh, uh, even some yep. relatives will teach opposite, and, and, yep. and you have to, and, and you and you you have to be steadfast. And it's almost like uh, when when we when we used to make beats, we had what's called the metronome. The metronome yep. was a sound that that kept everything and everyone on time, right? Right. Uh, so that everybody was harmonious, and Dad has to kind of be the metronome. There has to be a steadiness and consistency that at this time this happens with music, so at this time this happens in life, and we have to we have to kind of be the metronome in in our in our in our, in our families. We have to kind of uh, 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 spend some time. Uh, Hello. We, we like to talk about quality time. Time is life is short, so guess what? All time is quality time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That is so right. All time is quality time. And uh, my thing is, uh, uh, me, <clears throat> I want my kids to see, because I got three daughters. I want my yeah. daughters to see what a man is. So, you know, a man ain't out getting drunk and coming home, uh, um, floor, not on the floor. He's not out chasing the women. He's taking he's yeah. taking care of God, taking care of providing for the house, spiritually all in church. So that's what I want my girls to see. And when it, as they grow up, you know, yeah. so yeah, you just got to do it. You got to trust God and lean on God, and like the Bible said, Bible will tell you everything you, you need to know. Just got to follow it. So my yeah. thing is, even the society, when um, all, all well, I'm glad they're getting out of that. Everybody saw on TV with all slimmer and uh, coke bottle figures. They changed that. I'm glad they changed that. I see more uh, uh, full figured women on TV than I ever seen, but that's good. So they, that's that peer pressure is kind of being relieved. Awesome. Yes. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have another we have another brother on the line. Forty six fifty four. How you doing, my brother? My brother, my brother. Good evening, <laughs> my brother Jeremy. Chuck. Chuck. Hey, Love you, Chuck. God bless. God bless. God bless. I, I was just yes. listening. I'm sorry, I was late getting off work, so I just got a chance to listen to to the other brother. I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, it's always, it, it's always um, a, a struggle as a man 
because yes. you, you, it's, not about, it's not just about what you say, it's about what you do. Yes. I, I happen to have a conversation with my son. My son is going to be 25 um, in November. Uh, um, and, you know, he's away in grad school. But I happen to have a conversation because his mom and I, we were telling, oh, you should do this, you should do that. He said, no, mom, no, dad. I see you guys are doers. You don't have to tell me. I see what you do. Amen. So, Amen. So that was, an, and he said to me once when we were talking about birthday, he said, Dad, I want to be like you. No, you, you don't get a better compliment than to have your son say that he wants to be like you. That That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That, that's beautiful. Um, you, so that, that, that's, uh, Jeff, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if you got a chance to do this. I know time is running out, but, you know, we just want to um, – Lift up our our pastor A. R. Bernard in prayer on the last yes. of his son. Yes. You know, so I just want to remind brothers uh, um, to do that. Yes. Um, yes. Please lift up uh, Pastor A. R. Bernard um, uh, uh, and the entire Bernard family as uh, he, his son passed uh, recently, and they're dealing and they're mourning. Wow. So we're asking that. Which son was uh, Which son was it? Uh, uh, Jared. 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 Yeah, Jared. Yeah. Jared. He's not, the, he's not the pastor of the other church, is he? No. No, 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 no. no. That's no, no, Jamal. No, no, That's Jamal. No, no. That's Jamal. Okay. No, this is this is Jared. And um, but but yeah. um, you know, the, the level of pain that, that that you feel when you when a son or daughter is lost. Um, is, 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 is can be overwhelming, so it's important that the, that the saints lift uh, the family up in prayer. Matter of fact, as we're, yeah. we're coming close close to the close to the end of the show, um, you know, sometimes we, we 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 have survivor's guilt when things like this happen. Um, we think of what we could have done differently when 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 uh, God calls someone home. There's not really much we could have done differently, and um, it, it's not for us to, to, in the midst of our grief, to feel guilty. It is for us to, un, to, 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 to feel the sorrow, yes, of, of the person no longer being there, but knowing that uh, Pastor, but Pastor Bernard raised his children in the admonition of the Lord. That he there is some comfort that he is in paradise that he is he is not suffering and he is not in any pain that there is relief that he's in a better people say the better in a better place no no he's in the best place he's in the best mm-hmm. place so, so heavenly Father thank you Lord thank you Lord as we endeavor as fathers to prepare and protect our children. From foolishness, wickedness, harm, and danger. Your word says to train them up in the way they should go. But sometimes they go astray and they are wayward. But at other times, like Chuck says, they endeavor to, to mimic the good behavior, the 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 the, 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 the why the wisdom uh, of loving you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Bless them, Lord, that that they learn to to eat the meat and spit out the bones. That they they recognize the, the our, even our flaws and failures are not to be re- repeated. Help them not only to learn what to do, but what not to do. For those fa- for those fathers and mothers who have lost children, who are in pain because of their, the the loss of their children, I ask that the Holy Spirit hugs. And comforts them during this time That it gives them a, a, Even a more keen Understanding of what loss is And that they even Appreciate grace all the more Because you know what it feels like To have your son To, to lose a son But you also know That in the end there is resurrection And we thank you Lord For the resurrection and the life We ask that you 
continue to bless all those in further and farther. Help us to be beacons of hope and uh, uh, sharers of warning that we indeed present what is the blessing and the curse so that our children can make the wisest decision, the best decision, to not give in to the fear that's given by the, the, over, the, the Hegelian dialectic, friends, society, or any other pressures, but they will operate in power, love, and a sound mind. We thank you, Lord, for this blessing of relationship. You are Aleph Bet Aleph, our Abba, and we thank you, Lord, in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Until next week, amen and amen. This is Further and Father. Amen. Amen. This is Further and Father. Where fatherhood is elevated, families are empowered, and communities are transformed by our five core principles. Honor, encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. We thank you. And we look forward to talking to you next week. Amen. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. God bless. All right. All right, Marcus. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Pastor, Pastor Brown. All right, Chuck. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>